I want to provide an update on my Inkbird ITC308 temperature controller. I had a request to demonstrate how to program this guy because apparently I skipped over that in the last video. So sorry for the shakiness, I don't have a tripod, but let's see if we can go through it. So from the display menu to get into the programming mode, I have to press and hold the set button. And that gets me in there. Once I'm in there, continuing to hit the set button will cycle me through the different parameters I have access to uh, one at a time. And it'll take me all the way back around in a loop to change something. So if I want to change from 78, drop it down a degree, I can do that. I can change it, hit set and move on. Key thing here is that none of this stuff is held until you press and hold set again on the, on the controller. So the different features as we go through. So I think I stepped through these before, but I'll walk through them. So the temperature setting, that's really where we're, we're keying off. The heat differential is how uh, big a swing I want to allow in the system. So one degree is where I'm at. Cold differential is three degrees. Doesn't matter because I'm not cooling. Um, alarm high 82. Let me bump that down. That's too high. So let's go to 78 for that, for example. Uh, alarm low 73. Let's, uh, yeah, that's okay. Maybe 74. Um, PT and CA are both compressor settings for something to do with uh, with the cooling side and again I'm not using that uh, and then the scale whether I'm Fahrenheit or centigrade and then so by setting press and hold set okay it's squawking at me it says I'm above the 78 degree temperature high setting so let's clear that go in here I boy I can't believe I set that to there we are, alarm high at 78. So, let's bump that back up. 78's ridiculous, let's go to maybe 82. And we'll set that again. So there we are, we're at a setting of 77, current temperature 78.3, and we've demonstrated the alarm. Hope that's useful for the folks out there. And for those using it for an aquarium, hope you pick up one of these to, uh, keep your fish safe as well. Thanks for watching. They always woof while I'm filming. That's how it goes.